Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video will be another update to the recently released plugin, which is the LC tool, and this time it's about progress bar. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Drop a comment to maybe say you miss me or you know, just to show support. And let's start with today's video. Remember, this is a plugin, so you have to install it. Go to the description box and download the file through the Google Drive link. And after that, you can see that this LC tool will appear. And if you already downloaded this LC tool previously, you might overwrite this file. If not, you just double click. So today's one is the LC progress bar. So if you want, you can always just copy this one. If not, just copy the entire folder and go to go home movies motion templates and just paste it under the titles folder and you know overwrite if you have to and that's the folder that you need after that restart your final cut pro go to the titles and generators sidebar and find LC tool and you can see that there are already three sections over here. So if you missed the previous two sections, the two videos, you can check on the description as well. There is going to be a link or maybe two links actually to these two videos. If not, let's jump right into today's section of how do you apply this simple progress bar. So this is the video that I've already you know, done before and exported. And yep, as you can see that this video is about six minutes long. And let's drag this simple progress bar and just put it onto the timeline like this. And yep, drag it all the way to the end. And for me personally, I don't like to have this built in and built out to make sure the time is the time of this duration is absolutely correct. And then you, you might want to go back to the start and maybe at the front you don't need the entire progression until you finish with the intro around you know a few seconds later around here so that's the part where you want to have a progress bar so this progress bar is already here and if you want to change the position you can always drag the on-screen control and make it you know up a bit like this and once you hit play you can see that this progress bar is already ongoing if not remember you can always shrink the size of the entire view and go back to drag the screen I mean on screen control and enlarge the size if you want or decrease the size so that's the size I think is suitable since this is a plugin which is highly customizable you can always change say the bar width that's you know going to make this bar the progress bar a little bit bigger than the contained box so that if that's what you want if not you can always change the outline width as well just to make it super wide and once you hit play this is going to happen if not you can always change the progress color as well if you think that blue is a little bit you know not suitable for the video you can always change to say red or you know select the color from screen like this and this is the red that my screen has you can always change the box color as well to another color that you want for example green and once you play that's going to happen very easily very smoothly and let's go to the vertical section you hit vertical as you can see that this thing this bar is appearing on the right on the right hand side of the screen of course you can change the scale and position like this as usual and once you hit play it's going to be exactly the same and let's move on to the chapters section as you can see that there's nothing on this progress bar so perhaps at the start you want to remind your viewers that some important chapters on this video you can always add a few markers for example that's the marker you want so you double click and this marker is appearing here so the default setting of this marker is you know vertical so how do you change to the 
horizontal one, you can go to the inspector on your right, the title inspector. Yeah, obviously, you can change the face direction to upright. And that's the only thing that you need to do and drag it over. If you think that this thing is a little bit too small, you can always change the scale like this and drag it. For example, that's the, the effect you want. And of course, you can change the text. So chapter one and increase the text size if you want to as well. And that's the chapter size. And you can change the background color if you want. And I'm just gonna leave it like this. And obviously, if you don't like the background, you can always change the opacity back to zero, or maybe in the middle, which is not very visible. So I'm gonna have it full blown at 100%, and I'm gonna you know remove the build out effect to have a neater kind of effect. And after that, I'm gonna add another chapter. But before I'm adding the another chapter that I want, I'm gonna you know, lengthen the entire duration and just press option and drag it upwards and you have a second duplicate and the second marker is over here and I'm gonna change the position to say this and change the, the text to chapter 2 and obviously once you hit play you can see that these two chapters are appearing way too soon and maybe in the middle of the entire clip you, you just put your chapters back you know to around for example here or maybe earlier yep maybe that's the position to remind your reader that or viewer that this is the chapter one approaching or the chapter one is already here I mean it's already past chapter one if not, let's go back to the start. Let's move on to the customization part of the chapters icon. So for example, if you don't want the box that's containing the text, you can remove the box by clicking, I mean, deselecting the box option in the published parameters. And that's the chapter two. And this just to have a comparison, I'm gonna change the, the background as well and that's like very neat and very simple and obviously you can change the text position just bring a little bit below like this closer to the line and once you hit play yeah, that's going to be very neat and obviously if you think that this box has a very difficult unpleasing color you can always change the box color to say uh, uh, blue or purple and with the background a different shade of color or a different shade of orange for example this is the one that you are going for and change the text color <laughs> as well so this is pretty colorful now and maybe that's the one they want and let's move on to the vertical section of this chapter icon the markers actually so first of all you have to change the progress bar to a vertical one and move to any position that you want and secondly change the uh, the text see now this one is on your right so I think you have to change to rotate left and yeah if you you've realized that this thing doesn't work this is because my settings are a little bit screwed up and I don't have time to adjust so please bear with me and just drag the position like this and put it at a position that you want and that's all you need to do pretty simple right and if you think that this text is out of position, you can always drag like this. Make sure that this thing is aligned with the line. So that's the one that you want. And for example, if you think that this uh, this thing is is you know you want to be appearing on the right of this bar, you can always first of all drag the bar closer to the to the left and change this facing of this chapter 2 by changing this to the rotate right position and if you think that this thing is going to disappear or if you already you know suspect that this thing disappear do not be afraid just drag the position and this will come back and maybe you change the size of the entire thing by shrinking 
the size like this. And this thing, this marker now is much visible. And that's all you want to do, and that's all you need to do. And pretty simple, and pretty neat, and pretty minimalistic. And yep, that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and please, again, remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Drop a comment to show support as well, and I hope that I have enough time to produce my next video quickly. If not, see you when I see you. Bye bye.